This is a tutorial video on the Handler Model 26A two-speed Red Wing lathe. The Red Wing lathe is set to go out of the box. You plug it in. You will need two attachments to effectively use the Red Wing lathe. Typically we, re we recommend a number 7L spindle for the left side for polishing and a number 18 precision atlas chuck on the right side for grinding and cutting and sanding. When you get the 26A, you should inspect it carefully. You should also read the instructions thoroughly before operating any equipment. Once you've done that, you can test the motor by plugging it in, flipping it on low speed first, and then the high speed. Never flip it on the high speed without flipping it on the low speed first. You can see the machine is operating perfectly and quietly as it should. To mount your attachments, simply shut the machine off and allow the motor to stop. They are applied in a friction, with a friction grip on a tapered shaft, so you can just simply put it on, even using an office tool like a stapler, just tap it. Once you've tapped the attachments on, they will not come off unless you use the throw off to do so. If you want to remove an attachment, you simply unscrew the throw off. Until it forces the attachment off. To put it back on, simply screw the throw off back in, slide the attachment on, and give it a slight tap. You're now set up to operate the 26A Red Wing lathe. The Atlas chuck opens and closes manually and can hold burrs up to a quarter inch in shank. So it'll hold all the standard uh, application burrs that are used in the various fields dentistry, jewelry, industrial, hobby, craft, etc. The 26A is a low, bathe, uh, low base lathe. You should use it with a dust collector and a splash hood. And if you need a higher base, you can use the Handler Model 26, which has a higher base to allow for bigger buffs, bigger wheels, and bigger brushes. Handler also manufactures the model 16B, that's the Red Wing Lathe, number 26A, with the number 16 automatic quick chuck changer. Handler sells the number 16 separately. If you have a 26A in the field, you can easily mount the number 16 onto this side of the lathe following the instructional video that's on YouTube.